We're talking about the blood-borne viruses today, and the blood-borne viruses that we normally refer to are hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV. They're spread essentially by contact between um, the circulation of the person with the virus and the blood of the person who is exposed to the virus. But uh, for each of the viruses, there are other important ways that these viruses are spread. Hepatitis B is spread uh, by blood contact, such as injecting drug use, contaminated um, uh, blood transfusions. Uh, it can be spread sexually, and very importantly, hepatitis B can be spread from an infected mother um, to her baby as the baby is uh, in utero, or particularly as the baby is born. Hepatitis C, uh, which used to be called non-A, non-B hepatitis, um, is largely spread by uh, sharing of injecting drug equipment and we've come to realise uh, more recently that there is some sexual transmission of hepatitis C but it seems to be rare. HIV is largely spread in Australia by uh, sexual transmission. There is some um, transmission um, of HIV through injecting drug use. Um, but in Australia this has been largely controlled by the availability of needle syringe exchange programs which um, reduce the amount of needle sharing that occurs um, among injecting drug users. The main uh, people who are at risk of HIV infection in Australia are men who have sex with men. There are many strategies to prevent uh, the spread of these viruses and they can be very severe and life-threatening infections so prevention is really very important. There is a vaccine available for hepatitis B and it is part of the routine vaccination schedule. Um, hepatitis C there is no vaccine for and in Australia um, needle syringe exchange programs which reduce the sharing of injecting equipment between people who inject uh, drugs has been very successful in uh, reducing the uh, spread of hepatitis C in the community. HIV uh, a vaccine has been under development for some period of time and uh, because HIV is largely spread by sexual intercourse, um, safe sex is really the key to preventing the spread of HIV infection. In regards to the transmission of bloodborne virus infection in healthcare settings, I have been involved in the public health investigation of a number of these incidents over the years. An example would be a small cluster of acute hepatitis C uh, occurring in a general practice setting. The Public Health Units and Health Protection New South Wales is uh, well attuned to the need to investigate these incidents and we generally make recommendations to make sure they don't happen again.